Well, the world hasn't ended and we're all still here. <laughs> and we've got a lot of things to be grateful for. Heather and I were just praying. We are praying in a moment ago and really stepping into this supernatural unction regarding just praising and, and gratefulness. Here's why. Because so many people right now have a spirit of heaviness on them. And the spirit of heaviness is just that. It's a demon spirit set to try and uh, manipulate and bring discouragement and distraction and fear with all that's going on. And I want to tell you, even as we talked about some of the events and the time and window we're stepping into the next several days and weeks, uh, and the, even the timelines we've laid out, I have no fear over it, and neither should you. So let me give you a quick scripture. I wanted to say this. I won't be live super long. I want, I want you to get this real quick here. Isaiah chapter 61 Isaiah chapter 61. You know what we keep saying to each other around here when all this stuff keeps going on and difficulties happening? You know what we keep saying? What does the Bible say? Yeah, but what does the Bible say? Yeah, but what are the promises of God? They're not null and void just because difficulties going on. Listen to me very quickly. Look at this. Isaiah 61. It says this. I was actually thinking about that old song that, that goes into the chorus. It's called Spirit of the Sovereign Lord. It's an old vineyard song. And it gets into, we will comfort those who mourn. This is the year. He will provide for those who grieve. This is the year. And then it gets into the end of the song and it says, this is the year of the favor of the Lord. This is the day of the vengeance of our God. Now, Jesus cut off the vengeance part until the change of the season. But let's look here. Isaiah 61, it says something powerful and you need to hear this. It's gonna be good for your heart. Isaiah 61, it says, to proclaim, verse two, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. But then it goes on to say, to comfort all who mourn, to console, verse three, those who mourn in Zion. This is awesome. And then it goes on to say, to give them beauty for ashes. I am here to declare to you right now, it's time for some beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. God will take your ashes and turn it to beauty. That's what he does. Man, I'll tell you what, the more you cast off this heaviness, the more you cast off the fear of what's going on and you stay in faith in the word of God, you're gonna have great victory. God's word works all the time regardless of the circumstance. And look at this. The oil of joy for mourning. Jesus was anointed with the oil of joy above all his yoke brethren, yoke fellows. Now look at this. And here's what we're getting into. The garment, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Or, you know, some would say a spirit of heaviness, but it actually says the spirit, meaning that there is a demon spirit that tries to come on nations. It tries to come on people. And although the data is correct, and although there can be really serious things we're looking at, these demon agendas try to get you to begin to uh, fall to the wayside. They try to get you to get under heaviness and fear and trepidation. And the spirit of the Lord is saying to you, not today, not today. Let's put on the garment of praise because that spirit when you begin to praise, you begin to open your mouth, you have thanksgiving. He starts to talk about how good God is, Jesus is Lord, and declare freedom and liberty. I'm telling you, you will break the hold of that demonic spirit, that demonic agenda. In no way does God want you to be filled with fear or anxiety. Jesus said in Mark or Matthew 24, see that you are not troubled by these things. We're in birth pang season, ladies and gentlemen. Now I wanna say one thing. I believe that as we're navigating and all the prayers we're putting in, all the things that we're stopping, you know, there was a lot of potential even over this weekend, this past weekend, for there to be tremendous, horrible events that were gonna bust loose, loose on the earth. But I believe because we've been praying, our team's been praying, many intercessors are breaking loose. I believe we are stopping and turning the tide on some of this. Turning the tide. Now, I know there's things going on in the, the hammer and sickle nation, the red dragon nation. There's things that are taking place everywhere and even in the United States. But listen, listen to me. If we go through this season and we keep praying and we keep pressing back against this nefarious agenda, I believe we can clearly see a tremendous victory, not only in midterms, but going into the next year. I'm talking 
raw spiritual horsepower that we begin to push back the kingdom of darkness. Jesus is Lord and he wants you to win more than you do. His strength is on you. Listen, if you're feeling that spirit of heaviness, which is a demon spirit trying to get you to cooperate with this antichrist agenda in the world right now, here's what you need to do. You need to put on that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, drive it back, begin to exercise your prayer, exercise your discernment, exercise the word of God. The word of God says that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And I just wanna tell you, I give you permission to be thrilled. I give you permission to push back against this stuff. And uh, all the dates and times and things that we've you know, written out and praying over and other people are praying over, I believe we can absolutely win and conquer in the middle of this time. And I'm saying that over you, that's a word for you. I think that this could have an absolute Surprise silver lining against the kingdom of darkness going into the fall, going into the season ahead. Meaning we can turn this thing around and God will give us another round yet, another, another wave of victory, another time to go into increase, another time to accelerate. I'll tell you, that's what we're doing. You know what we're doing in this ministry? Continuing. We're continuing with what God told us to do. Don't you get in fear. Don't you get anxiety. Don't shrink back. I'm telling you, go forward in Jesus and do it now. Do it today. If you feel tension around you or pressure and it's like, oh no, what are we gonna do? It's so terrible. You open your mouth and start praising God and you start speaking the word. And uh, that's my next writing project, by the way. We're gonna show you how to give the, the kingdom of darkness a quick haku to the throat, right? Praise God. I'll tell you what, Jesus is Lord. He really is. And the word of God doesn't change. No matter what season it is, no matter what time it is. Let me say this to you also. Um, in Thessalonians, I got to say this to you. Everybody's so worried about the end right now. I'm not. I'm not. We are those that overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony. We cast out a demon of fear, a demon of heaviness. We ca- in Jesus' name, every demon spirit that's bringing torment, depression, and pressure on our friends, on the people watching this right now, I command you to get off them right now. You demon of heaviness, you leave them right now. Right now. Let me show you something. Something raw from the word of God. I'm gonna find it here. This is really important. Here's why. Because it's so vital that we begin to understand what's actually going on. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I want you to see this. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's start talking about this stuff and I get really fired up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here, check this out. I want you to get this in the word of God. First Thessalonians, I want to talk about the Antichrist just for a second. I'll probably go into this more throughout the week, but I want you to get this in your heart. You can understand something. A lot of people don't like this kind of teaching. They're like, no, it's going to be bad. You don't know, it's going to be so bad. Well, there's going to be plenty of stuff that's bad. But listen, we're here to dominate. We're here to drive out a demon of heaviness, not embrace it. We can mourn and grieve, but not like the world does. We got faith, we got Jesus in us. Look at this, let me give it to you. I'll give it to you quick, here we go. First Thessalonians chapter two. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here he is talking about this. He's talking about and, um, and are being gathered to him. We ask that you not be soon shaken in mind or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter. Notice it says by letter because there was a letter being circulated that was falsely induced going around and telling all the people in Thessalonica that they'd missed the rapture. They'd missed the second coming of the Lord or the Lord had returned, whatever you wanna call it. And as if it was from them, he says, as though the day of the Lord had come. Well, let me get into this. It's going to help you. I'm going to land this quick. Verse 3, let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. There's going to be a great falling away one day, folks, and that means that it's not just going to be in the church. It's going to be in the world. It's going to be a worldwide mutiny against Jesus. But hang in here comes first and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, the son who is on a road to hell, gonna lead the world on a road to hell. 
who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Now, a lot of people say, see, the Antichrist is gonna show up and uh, the falling away will happen. We're all gonna be terrible and it's gonna be a terrible deal. And then, then it's the end. And I'm telling you, you can rejoice at this next part. Here's why. But it says, verse five, do you not remember Here's Paul talking. So he says, here's what it's gonna look like when the Antichrist comes. What he's gonna do, there'll be a great falling away, people running from everything, but hang in here. Do you not remember that when I was with you still, I told you these things? Verse six, and now you know, now you know, you know what is restraining. This is strong that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now, now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And when the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. And it goes on to say what he's gonna do in the strong delusions. When Jesus comes back, and the Antichrist is in the temple, which has to be rebuilt. And you can see those, those red heifers people are talking about going there. And the new temple could be in motion soon. But when Jesus comes back, it's not even going to be a battle. It's going to be a, you're gone, Antichrist. Do not collect go. Do not get $200. Go straight to the lake of fire. That's what's going to happen to him. Jesus will defeat him with a little puff of breath from his mouth. But here's what's going on here. The one who hinders, restrains will be taken out of the way. The Antichrist can't manifest. And I firmly believe the one who restrains and hinders is the ecclesia. It's the church, the body of Christ. As he is, so are we, the ecclesia, now in this world. The Antichrist can't manifest with you and I here. He can't manifest with the spirit of Jesus. Jesus said, the prince of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. And he is now being driven out. The Antichrist has to be empowered by that spirit of the devil. And he can't do it because the gates of hell cannot overcome the ecclesia. So I am of that, those who believe, according to the word of God, that the ecclesia will be taken out of the way. Then the Antichrist will come. People who will remain, those who get born again or whatever happens after that, they'll get to face him uh, on those terms. So I want to say something to you today. As long as we're here, the Antichrist might be on the planet today. He might be a man. He might be a system. He may be there, but I'll tell you what, he cannot manifest. But the spirit of Antichrist, many Antichrists, which is a demonic unction to act out the desires of the Antichrist are in the earth, but the proper Antichrist cannot manifest because you and I are here and we are not allowing that today. And I'll tell you what, as long as we're here, we got another round in front of us. As long as you and I are alive, this world will answer to Jesus and the ecclesia will bring victory. So if you're feeling heavy, you're feeling any difficulty, you cast that stuff out of your house. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'll tell you what, you're gonna wanna share this. You're gonna wanna get this to somebody because it's gonna help them. Cast out, drive out, cast out that demon of heaviness right now and you get in faith. And we're gonna talk about all this wild stuff that's going on. Um, the demon, uh, uh, tribulations, people ask about tribulations, trials, all that stuff. That's, that's normal. Christians are not delivered from persecution. That's what Paul's thorn in the flesh was, a spirit of persecution, period. We're delivered of everything, just not persecution. That's why Jesus said in Mark chapter 10, he said, um, and, and uh, what he's talking about, uh, anyone who gives a houses, lands, mothers, brothers, sisters, all this for my sake in the gospel, will now in this time of a hundred times as much hundred times as much with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. We're not delivered of persecutions. We're delivered of everything but persecution. A servant is not greater than his master. If they hated him, persecuted him, they'll do the same to you. So here's the deal. Praise God. I want to say something to you, man. People are really blessed by the book, Breaking Hell's Economy. You can still get it at the pre-order price at josephz.com. I encourage you to do that. And I want to bless you. If you're a partner here, God bless you. If you want to become a partner, go to josephz.com. And we are so thankful for you. And it's time to drive out, cast out the demon of heaviness because the Antichrist spirit and the spirit of this age does not stand a chance if the church unites and does what it's supposed to do. Be encouraged. Be strong. Jesus is Lord. 
I love you guys. I'll see you bright and early this week, every morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Please repost this. I know it's gonna help somebody. People needed to hear this. God bless you. I love you, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you for sharing this everywhere you can. Drive out that spirit, that demon spirit of heaviness. Cast it out, deliver it from your house, get it out, and I'll tell you what, you're gonna have victory, and you're gonna have a great, great future. I bless you. I'll see you soon. Love you guys very, very much. Uh, You stay encouraged. All right, talk to you soon.